too often we make excuses as to why we don't do things. There's a thousand reasons for never doing anything if you're looking to do nothing with your life. But here's an example that I'm trying to make. Success and opportunity is all around you. No matter who you are, where you live, or what you do. But for you to take advantage of those opportunities requires you to act first and requires you to perform in a proper manner. You're involved in a people business. And in order to have a people business prosper, all parties concerned have to participate. One of the most irritating things to me in life is for someone to say, and I hear it all the time, well, I just don't talk to people very well. Or I have a hard time just talking to strangers. Well, change your attitude. If you've decided that you don't know what a stranger is, that you're going to take everybody that comes into your life as a friend, instead of a stranger, stick your hand out and say, hello, you're going to find out that people are pretty good folk all around the country, anywhere you go. I'm sitting up in central Idaho on the north shore, the northwest shore of Cascade Reservoir. Beautiful time of the year, fall is here at the end of September. The colors are just starting to turn on all the vegetation. The next three weeks are going to be the most precious time in all of the year as far as I'm concerned. Fall is my favorite. It's hunting season if you live up in the mountains and hunt. But it's God's way of changing and showing us all that as one section, part, segment of life ends, another begins. There'll be snow up over my head right now in another 60 days. At least by 90 days. The temperature will plummet to below zero. All the critters are out rapidly trying to store in supplies. They're planning ahead. Well, what do they eat? Oh, all the things that grow. Everything that comes on a tree or in a plant. Bugs. Whatever they have to eat to survive. Are you willing to do whatever it takes? Just look at these dark pines behind me. They're thick. Everywhere you turn, you're looking at another tree. An evergreen tree. Come with me mentally for a moment. Just envision each and every one of those trees is a person. Now if somebody was willing to pay you and give you a fixed amount of time, how many trees would you go mark? Would you stand at the edge of the forest and say, Oh, I don't know that tree. I'm afraid of trees. What color do you want me to mark? Trees. Take off all the hindrances, all your hang-ups, and just go mark every tree you walk by. How many trees could you mark? Well, if I was willing to pay you for every person you stuck your hand out, introduced yourself, and showed some true, honest, congenial care for them, and asked them about themselves, I think you might find they're willing to tell you just about their life history if you're wise enough to keep your mouth shut long enough to let them talk. When you show interest in another one of God's creations, I guarantee you they'll show interest back to you. When you show care and concern for another human being, they'll return the same to you. God's word says, given it shall be given, pressed down, shaken together, and overflowing. In the same measure that he gave to you will be given back to you. 
But you got to take the first step. You can't make excuses. You got to start making things happen. You know, over seven decades ago, my parents brought me up to these kinds of places. And I've gotten to know them well and all the roads in and out, or almost all of them. And 70 or more years has come and gone. Oh, how blessed I was. Because I was willing to go into the forest, get to know how animals lived, where they lived, how they lived. And that's why people always say, well, how come you're so successful hunting and fishing? <laughs> because I know what I'm after, and I know how it lives, and I know what my parents taught me. I was blessed. I hope you have been too. But if you weren't, suck it up. Come with me through these video conversations. Let me share with you what's in the great state of Idaho. And let me show you God's hand in full work mode. Now how many mountains could you climb? Rivers could you cross? Canyons could you go through if you knew that one or two out of every hundred would return your kindness. Our relationship would be seeded and burst forth in growth and over, over time you found six people that wanted to change their lives. What are the chances of you finding a stranger if you looked at people as opportunities to create new relationships? instead of selfishly looking at only your own benefit. I believe God meant this when he said in his word, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. If you want to succeed, go to work. If you want to succeed, stop making excuses and begin to make things happen. If you're scared, <laughs> here it is. Do the things that scare you and they'll stop scaring you. Action cures fear. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.